Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am here with a little bit different video tutorial for you today. Today I'm going to be creating a custom dashboard for my planner. I use the Levenger and you can see I am starting out with a page protector that is meant for my planner. I also have this clear plastic cover so you can see that fits in there and then my page protector with my dashboard will go right over that. And I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool to do this and to create some custom size sealed pockets within this. So as we go on, I think this will make more sense. But this is the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool, and it comes with this little sealing tip on it. So it's kind of like a round, like roller tip that you can use to seal and create custom size pockets. It's actually meant for a project life, or that's what it was originally designed for, but there's a lot of uses out there for it. So I encourage you to kind of play around with it. It also comes with this cutting tip here, and I keep mine just in a little canvas bag to keep track of it, and then this metal ruler with a little sealing guide on it. Now I've pulled out some things that I thought I might want to use in these pockets because I'm going to create kind of some shakers, and so I have my sequins and my wood veneer, and I also have some pattern paper. This is the Cottage Living 6x6 Paper Pad by Jen Hadfield and Pebbles. But, but I'm going to start out by printing out just a couple of these Fuji Instax photos for my dashboard. So I wanted this to be a really a place of inspiration. I look in my planner every day, and my son is texting me as I'm trying to <laughs> print out these pictures. But I wanted it to be things that inspired me and things that I love. So my family is really important to me, so I wanted to have that on there. And I'm also going to print out a picture of me and my husband. I left this part in there because I wanted you to see how quickly that these print. So once I get my kid's picture printed out, I'm also going to pick, print out this picture of my husband. And these process like instant photos. I've been told to stop calling them Polaroids because they're not Polaroids because Polaroid is a brand. But anyway, you can see these cute little credit card size instant photos that you get from this Fuji Instax printer. I like it better than the Fuji Instax cameras because I can see the photo before I actually print it out. So I have that photo right down there in the bottom left-hand corner, and I am just taking my little ruler here and my fuse tool, and I'm sealing that in there. So once I get that in there, that photo is sealed in there. Now for the pocket directly to the right of that, I thought it would be fun to use this We Are Memory Keepers Clearly Bold Polka Dot Acetate. And I'm just going to kind of slide it in there. I've cut it down to be the perfect size. And depending on what kind of photos you're using or what kind of items you're using, you can make these pockets whatever size you need. So I've grabbed this die cut here. This is a Bold Blooms or Bold Blossoms die cut from the Essentials by Ellen line and I'm just stacking it up with a little bit of that pattern paper from the Jen Hadfield stack and I'm putting that all over that clear acetate and then sealing that in as well. Now I was I didn't attach the actual die cut to that acetate because if it moves around it doesn't really bother me. So for my next little pocket I wanted to add some sequins because I love sequins and I love sparkly things. So I put some pretty pink posh sequins in there. Those, those are the sparkling clear as well as the gold. And then I have this little ampersand wood veneer. It's from Studio Calico. And I'm going to seal those all in. So you can see that they're going to move around and they're going to shake around but they're all going to be sealed in there so they won't go into the pocket that ne that's next to it. Now I made that sequin pocket just a little bit too big and my photo was hanging out of the top. So I considered kind of changing my layout a little bit, but in the end I didn't really like that. So I just cut off the bottom of this photo of my husband and I uh, to make it fit in that space that was left over. And I kind of did this out of order. I sealed the side of this photo in there and then I took it out and I embellished it a little bit with a little bit of polka dot washi tape and some gold heart stickers here. These are like some puffy heart stickers that I've had in my stash. And I sealed this photo in as well. But I actually made it really hard on myself because <laughs> when I went to go put in this pattern paper ensemble that I'm creating here, I kind of really had to work it around. And another, another problem or challenge that I had with that is that I accidentally sealed a little too far when I did that sequin pocket. So you can see me, I'm kind of having to finagle it in here, but I was able to get it in there and then seal that in as well. 
Now for my final pocket, I am using these Feathers dies from Simon Says Stamp, and I've cut them out of some Essentials by Ellen Vellum, and I am just using a little matte medium to kind of stack them up here. And I'm using a little bit of tape runner adhesive on the back of that grouping to attach some of this DMC gold floss or gold thread to the back of it. I just thought it would be fun to have a little bit of that thread in there as well. And I'm going to stack that on top of another piece of this We Are Memory Keepers Clearly Bold Acetate. So you can see I've actually cut the 12 by 12 sheets down into these 6 by 6 pieces. And then I just marked where I needed to cut and took it over to my trimmer and cut that out. Now I loved how this was coming together, but I really thought it needed something else. So I'm using this Life Family Love die set from Simon Says Stamp. And I cut that out of some gold glitter cardstock. And then I'm going to attach my feather grouping as well as my little love die cut all to this clear piece of acetate using my tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. Now before I sealed up this little section of my planner dashboard, I did add a few little sequins. These are the sparkling clear sequins once again from Pretty Pink Posh. And then I sealed that up using my fuse tool. Now, I did not actually decorate the back of this. If you wanted to, you could, but it really doesn't bother me. If I did it again, which I can imagine that I'll change this out quite often, I will probably go ahead and add some inspirational quotes or some more pattern paper on the back of this dashboard. But you can see as I put it in my planner here, it's just a really fun piece to have in there. Just really inspiring and reminds me of all the things that are important to me. I have linked all of the products in the description below at YouTube as well as over at my blog where you can find more information and more photos. I have also linked the blog posts where I talk about my planner in detail as well as my review of the Fuji Instax share printer as well. And you can find those links over at my blog. Thanks for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a fabulous day.